as in my first video when I was in this area with my shorts. Seven months ago, I threw most of my belongings in my truck and just left. But now, I've come back to prepare for the future. Kupana, <laughs> Kupana, no. I've visited most of my old haunts back here in Kazi'il, but there's one place I haven't been yet. I haven't been back here for a while. Has been a while, really has. Just interested in this, how this forest is looking now. This is my old roads to the pond before I built the new one. They've taken down all the trees that I used to have to go in and out of. I used to take my Hilux through here. <laughs> I hadn't been back inside the house where I slept for months yet, and it was going to be quite a revelation. <laughs> Kupana, Kupana, no. Oh, can I? I'm too heavy for this. This house is it's breaking underneath me. <laughs> oh. Ah. My freezers, uh, I lent it to someone to use. I lent it to one of my friends to use in their store. Oh, I still have solignum here. Amazing. And I, oh, there's my trap out. I wondered where that got to. So I step in here, I'm already breaking it. This is a... Uh, Right there, that's where I slept for almost a year. Mosquito next con. Don't know where that is. Oh, I'm gonna rescue this. Citronella for sprays. Yeah, this stuff's really, really good. I'm gonna rescue this. I'm glad uh, that's still here. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Falling apart even more than it was before. But, uh, yeah, interesting to see, no? The CR, the famous CR. I'm glad I rescued something. This house survived Pablo, but didn't survive lots of small storms later. Let's uh, move away from here because I've got other things to deal with. Fish pond. Prepare it's back. The journey across the river very familiar for me, but then an unexpected awesome surprise. So happy to see them looking happy, not afraid of people. So they were afraid of people before. Now, not so much. I'm happy to see them eating. They're happier now, much happier now. The memories might not be great, but the future is really exciting for this beautiful location. So 
a few little essential repairs I need to do just around the gates, just so these dikes don't fall apart. They also told me to put some posters up telling people not to trespass because what we're finding is there's a lot of people coming in, making holes to get crabs and other things out of the dikes and then just leaving them. They, don't, they, they never fill them back in, which of course is going to destroy them structurally. And I've had them to start to take down this net here and store it because I'll show you on the other side. Gonna go the other way around today. Probably can't hold my weight. That one was always a difficult one. That one's always, always caused me problems there. I've had to put these fences here to keep the neighbors' goats out. True story. That's why I'm getting them to take this away because someone's taken that section. You can see they've just pulled a load off and taken it. Don't know who that is. And as in my first video when I was in this area, I ripped my shorts. Despite these annoyances that are quite frankly minor, there's definitely a future here for something. The fish pond house may have its imperfections, but it sits majestically over the Catty Eel River. Thankfully I treated this wood before a little bit, but I'm going to treat it again now while there's no fish here and it won't harm them. And I need to fill in gaps like that, which let's just say hire the professionals. stuff some wood in behind it. That'll at least hold it uh, steady. I'm gonna go in the house and talk, I'm exhausted. Um, yeah, what was I trying to say? So what I need to do on this house is I need to fix, this is easy enough to fix. It just needs securing properly. I don't know if I can actually like add Nipo on top. I don't know if that's practical. Does anyone know? Is that practical? So I can double layer the Nipo? Because that would be really cool. Yeah, you know, this house is so beautiful that I don't want to lose it. So I'm gonna really focus on this house first. There's a few little things I'm gonna do here next week. I'm gonna go back to Davao to buy some things though. This view is why I came here. Beautiful, beautiful place. And this river truly is majestic. I'll put a handle on that as well. Let's <laughs> ask if... Uh... Go on, put him a doubling nipa. I hope I'm stuck on land, buddy. That thing's heavy one-handed with a camera in the other hand. Now I'm falling over. I don't do things by halves. Jimmy Santos, bye-bye. Gurash said I should go back to my vlogging groups and I did very well. Oh dear, one more pair of shorts to say bye bye to. I don't know, why do they keep ripping on me? Answers in the comments. But from this beautiful place, I still need to go home in Davao for a while. 
Bye, friend. Bye-bye, Commander. <laughs> Wait. Remember, there's one thing I need to do first. I need to pay Mama Rose. There's <laughs> nobody to be found at all. I'm only coming back in three days. I'm sure Mama Rose can manage. <laughs> Another coming back to Katil to pay my Wu-Tang. Oh dear. That mountain road normally takes it out of me, it hasn't today. It's awesome. I'm just gonna dive out quickly. I'm gonna, just gonna buy some things to bring back. I've got other things to fix in Davao. I always have things to fix. Dao of Ghani. Just gonna dive out. Could have been more excited when I said, let's go to Davao, couldn't I? Let's go to Davao. I'm gonna get out this junction, then I'm gonna talk. Okay, I'm using junctions like I never would in the UK. Stay there. Yeah, I'm gonna buy a few things I need. There's only a couple of things I need here. Solignum and what else do I need? I forgot. I remember when I'm at the hardware. I need lots of big shipping ropes as well so I can pull out that big boat. I'm gonna do that at some point soon. I th hopefully, if I have the rope on the next full moon, that'll be a cool little feature as well. Has anyone ever made a video about dry docking a boat? I don't think so, eh? Morning. Ah, uh, okay, solid num. Yeah. Clear or black? Ah, clear. Gallon. Gallon. Oh. Clear. Is it a gallon? Okay. Oh, clear, clear. Yeah. Tapos. Is it a brush? Ang a dako. Okay. What a kay estrobo. Ang kani PC bag. Gamit sa shipping. Oh, ang dako ang a PC gamit sa estrobo. Ah, how long? I did it. One inch. One inch. Hola, man. Where are you going to go? Oh, yeah. Sige. 291. Salamat. Nakaabot na pa sa mukhang lugar. Oh. Sigli back. Ay, oh. Taga na back, ha? Oh, oh. Ay, oh. Lagi. Lagi swear, pero. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Parang kumpuhan dito. Wow. Kung wala na ikuan. Salamat. They're from, they're from Le Bac, Kalamansig. That's a very nice place. I like that place. I'm gonna go back to Kalamansig sometime. Cambio, cambio. Ah, okay. I'm getting confused by Philippine money again. What am I doing? He drives like me. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna talk about the fish pond and what I'm planning to do. 
And I apologize if I keep looking down here, I made notes because actually, this is about this, really. I opened this a couple of days ago and I just watched back the video and I don't like it, so I'm gonna do it again. You probably saw when I was at the fish pond, I was groggy. It's the weather. I'm sure it's the weather. Yeah, I opened this already and I'll show you that video. This thing is really, really cool. <laughs> That's just, man, 100,000 subscribers is big, eh? Super dry. I prefer the, the Sam Mix Super Dry beer. This is really, this is awesome. This is something I'm incredibly, incredibly proud of because this is a huge, huge, huge milestone in just my life journey. But 100,000, 100,000 people want to watch what I do. 100,000 people, 50% of my viewers are subscribers. And that's huge. People come back and they watch and they watch. And I really, really, really appreciate that. So to all of you, thank you so much. This is, this is really, this is dedicated to you guys. But more than that, this silver award, it's like a treasure out of the depths of where I was before. Because of course I had a fish pond that wasn't doing well. It was, it was failing, let's be honest. And then along comes this opportunity. Show people the Philippines through my eyes and whatever I do to edit. Sometimes I, I do really wonder if, is this real? It's like this opportunity is like, it, it feels like it's not real. It really does. <laughs> I, I like creating things. The, the, the fish pond, I really enjoyed building the ponds. I enjoyed saying, oh, we went from this to this. Oh, that means so much, eh? It's kind of that creativity, isn't it? And vlogging really, really suits that. Hello, you wanna come? Hello. Teddy wants to join me. He's allowed to join me, eh? Hey, sit down now, sit there, sit there, good boy. Okay, vlogging really turned that negative into a positive. Teddy's always been positive. I mean, remember when I said, I said, I'll vlog if I get 10,000 subscribers, which is a crazy thing to say. I'll make a video when I have 10,000 subscribers. Who, when does that when has that ever happened in the history of anything? And I, I didn't think it would happen. That, 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 that was just out of self-doubt, really, now I look at it. I didn't think I could do it. And so, and, and here I am now with 100, I, I, I then thought, oh, it'll last for three videos. I haven't got much to talk about. I can just show you my life in two or three videos. After about eight or 10, I was still thinking, oh, no, well, what can I make, what can I make? Because I forget people are actually interested in this. It, 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 it does, it amazes me, it does amaze me. And now this is my 72nd vlog. 72 vlogs, that's that, that I mean, that's a lot. But yeah, I, I just kept finding something to do. I kept developing my style, and am I really a content creator now? Am I really a guy who puts his face on the internet and who makes things for the internet and for people to watch? I, is that is that my life now? It's 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 absolutely crazy for me, and I'm so thankful to, for to Gulas for mentoring me, for the support, for encouraging me to do it in the first place. You know, imagine if I didn't do it, where would I be now? Where would my life be now? It's I don't want to think about that. So, okay, the fish pond. I don't want to lose what I have there. I'm not falling into sunk cost fallacies, anything like this, no, no, no. But there are, there are real things that need preserving there. The dikes, the more I maintain them, the less it costs in the long run, actually. It's a lot quicker to fill in all these small little holes than to fill in lots of washouts when it's, yeah. The house, I do not want that house to fall in the river. So I'm really gonna strengthen around the sides of that house. I'm gonna treat the wood again. I'm really gonna, that house is really, really, really important because I'm not going to do the same thing that I did before. That quite clearly was not working. I, I kind of have a little plan in my head. It's going to change a lot as we go because yeah, that's what happens. That river is special. Really, really, really special. I, I still remember the first time I took a trip 
from Poblacion up to up to the pond. The first time at sunset, there and back. Best 300 pesos I've ever spent. I just remember how it felt to go up there with that light, see the river, see the life there, see everything, and then go back into Catiil, which actually the Poblacion from the bay reminds me of a European town. It reminds me of like a place in Croatia or something. And so I've just got to work with that. And let's see, let's see how we go. The, the first thing for me to do is to protect what's actually there. I'm going to make more vlogs about that. I think that's going to be something quite interesting as well to do. I'm really excited to turn that fish pond itself into a positive. Like I've turned my life into a positive from what it was before. The funny thing is the silver button came from vlogs that I made on my return to Catiil. It's, it's so symbolic for me. I started in Catiil with such a love for the place. Along the way, I had that bad experience. I had these bad times. I had the problems with my health that happened there, but I always knew that I loved the place. From a real negative came this positive, this great positive of this award here. The hard part, well, it's already started. That's maintaining something that you're gonna be interested in, which I hope you are. Please tell me you are. Here's to a, a brighter future for us all, and thank you, thank you so much once again for everything. Really, really, really appreciate all of the support from everyone. It's been, it's been awesome. Thank you so much.